It's almost the summer movie time. Captain America Civil War really kicks it off on May 6th. But that means it's time for the summer movie wager. The summer movie wager started with the now defunct podcast Totally Rad Show and has continued on to the Slash Filmcast. Though more film blogs and podcasts have picked it up and started doing it themselves. The basic premise is trying to pick what the top 10 highest grossing movies over the summer season will be. And there's a point system based on how correctly you got each of those movies in the top 10 are. You also get three wildcard picks, so if one of your wildcard actually does make it into the top 10, you get an extra point. People that know a lot about movies do really poorly, and people that don't know a lot about movies can do really well, because the summer movie season is a crazy unpredictable thing. So I'm gonna lay out what I think the top 10 highest grossing summer movies are gonna be this year. My list is mostly predicated on sequels, superheroes, and family movies. Starting with number one, I'm going with Captain America Civil War. Marvel has been crushing the summer movie season in the last couple years, and I think this new Captain America movie, which is basically the third Avengers movie, plus brand new superheroes like Black Panther and Spider-Man, are gonna bring out everybody to see it. My number two pick is Finding Dory. While Pixar hasn't had as much financial success with their movies in the last couple years, I think the nostalgia factor here is what's really gonna propel Finding Dory to the number two spot. My number three pick is Independence Day Resurgence. I'm doing something you probably shouldn't be doing and guessing that this year is gonna be pretty similar to last year, so I'm betting big on the sequel to a popular movie from the 90s. My number four pick is The Secret Life of Pets. This is the new feature from Illumination Studios, the people that have made the Despicable Me and Minions movies, which did gangbusters in past summer seasons. So I'm betting they're gonna continue their successful role. My number five pick is X-Men Apocalypse. This is again a superhero movie. This is the latest in the X-Men franchise. Again, under the helm of Brian Singer. The last X-Men movie did really well and I think this one is going to also. My number six pick is Alice Through the Looking Glass. This is the third Disney movie on my list because Disney just can't stop making money. And for some reason, the first Alice movie made over a billion dollars worldwide. So I guess people are interested in this movie. That's why it's towards the middle of my list. I don't think it's gonna do as well as the first Alice, but still gonna bring in a lot of people. My number seven pick is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. The first reboot TMNT movie ended up at number nine during its summer season. So this being a sequel, I think it's gonna do a little bit better, but not tremendously better, which is why I have it number seven. My number eight pick is Central Intelligence. This is the only completely original movie on my list, and why it's on here are two reasons. The Rock and Kevin Hart. My number nine movie is Suicide Squad, the third and last superhero movie of the summer season. Batman v Superman did really well, not absolutely crazy well, but I think there's still some goodwill for Warner Brothers movies. But Suicide Squad is coming out towards the end of the summer movie season, so it won't have as much time to make as much as Captain America or X-Men. And my number 10 pick is Ghostbusters. Paul Feige's last couple movies, Spy and The Heat, did pretty well, but this one has the nostalgic factor of a Lawn Dormant franchise being rebooted, so I think it's gonna do really well. And for my wild cards, I have the Angry Birds movie, which is another family movie, but who really likes Angry Birds? But it could do well, which is why it's a wild card. My second wild card is Neighbors 2. The first Neighbors movie did actually pretty well. I think came around number 10 or 11 during the summer movie season. And it's a sequel, so it's gotta do, you know, a little bit better. And my third wild card is Warcraft, because I want this movie to do well, but I have no idea how well it's gonna do. So that's my summer movie wager. If you have your own choices and picks, let me know in the comments below, and I'll leave a link in the description box to Slash Films post about this year. Maybe I can stay,